Hey everybody, I'm back at you again here at Belmonte Auto uh, with a new vehicle for you guys to take a look at. So here we've got a 2016 Lexus RX 350. This thing is sweet. It is clean. We got it in black. It's got a chrome accent uh, trim throughout, two-tone rims. And you know it's a Lexus, so it's going to be nice. Let's go ahead and take a look, see what this thing has to offer. Starting on the driver's side door here, we got... Um, very nice leather two-tone seats it's like a brown and black two-tone I absolutely love the color it's super nice um, it is a powered seats both the driver and the passenger side although the driver side is uh, does have the uh, memory seats as you can see here we'll go ahead and hop in get a little bit of a closer look here starting with the steering wheel we do have steering wheel control buttons on either side there Close up on your dash shows 72,099 miles. You've also got like a temperature readout, the time, and other statistics on your driving up there. Back to the window or the door. Like I said, we've got the memory seat buttons there. You've got your powered mirror and powered window controls there. And then you've got a steering wheel heating button there so you can heat up your steering wheel and then your trunk lever for button up. I'm moving on to the nice big display screen. Ignore the flashing. It's just my video. It's not actually flashing. Um, there we go. Um, it does have navigation on it. We got Bluetooth um, and we got the whole shebang and you do control it with uh, this cool little movable thing. So that's kind of neat. Um, and it also does function as a backup camera, of course, if we put it in reverse here, and it still holds up your GPS on the right side, which is kind of cool. So there's that. You've got a, uh, another little clock here, analog type clock. Uh, you do have dual adjustable heat AC unit, so you can get the temperature just right for both sides. Um, you got a little five, uh, 12 volt down there. And then you do have heated and cooled seats on both the driver and the passenger side, and it is fully adjustable, so that's pretty cool. Moving on down here, you got your shifter knob, and then like I said, there is your control station for the screen up there. This is also a really cool feature that I thought was awesome. Um, so this cup holder here, it's got like a sink thing, so you can press this, and then the, it'll raise up. But if you want to push it back down, so your cups are at different levels, so they don't collide I guess um, or if you just got a really tall cup so that's kind of a neat feature uh, moving on to the glove box in here and you do have a very thick thing of owners manuals and such um, and if we open up the glove box here we do have some more outlets a little 12 volt as well as an aux and two USB ports Moving on up here, a little sunglass holder and some lights, and then you do have a sunroof, so that is your control button for this nice sunroof up here. All right, let's go ahead and take a look around the rest of the vehicle real quick. Oh, this uh, steering wheel also does adjust in and out, up and down, fully automatic, as you can tell, which is super nice. All right. We've also got um, sensors here, blind spot sensors, as well as your turn signals on the mirrors. This thing's got it all, man. Let's go ahead and take a look in the back here. And it does open up automatically. You just press the button, take a step back, and it will open up for you. There's lots of trunk space in here. It does have a little subwoofer in here. It's super nice. Um, up under, if I can get the carpet up, there we go. You got a little uh, storage spot which holds your tire and then there's a little storage spot next to that as well. Um, these seats do fold down and you do have a couple latches right here. So all you gotta do is pull those and boom, just like that, super easy. And look how much space it gives you, tons of space. All right, and then whenever you wanna close it, you just press it once. If you want to lock it at the same time, you press it twice and it'll go down automatically for you just like that. All right, let's go ahead and hop in the back seat. Got to put the seats back up though. It doesn't get much easier than that. All right. 
to happen in here. Lots and lots of space, a headroom and leg room. I am 6'3", and the seats are pretty far back, as you can tell. So there's lots of space in this vehicle. Good for people of all sizes, for sure. Um, you've got your sunroof here again, just to get another view of it. Um, down here, you've got your AC, heat AC vents, a little uh, 12 volt, a little cubby, and then you've also got your standard little cubbies on the back of each of the chairs, as well as your pull down armrest which has pop-up cup holder and a little storage spot. Super cool. Got a couple of little dome lights up there and we'll give you a quick peek of the, the back end 0.5 mode. Very nice vehicle and it's super well taken care of. The, the leather on the seats are in great condition. No tears, no scratches, no stains. Everything looks great in here. All right. Got your little little rack up there. Let's go ahead and uh, forgot to pop the trunk, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. So we can uh, take a look under the hood. She is looking good, she is sounding good, and she is driving good. So there you have it, folks. That was the uh, 20, uh, what was it, dang it. Was the 20, 20, 16, 2016 Lexus RX 350 here at Belmonte Auto. Come and check it out, belmonteauto.com.